put people forward on a special table and preserve their posture, and it gives us an idea of balance. And I'm going to do a leg length analysis and measure her leg lengths this morning. She's doing better overall. And I'm going to work with an acrylic massager and my hands, and I'm feeling with my hands to see if she has muscle tension. And most of us hold tension here in our neck and in our shoulders. And I'm going to work with a little acrylic massager. By the way, if you'd like one of these, you could stop by at my center at 1411 Cromaria Street in East Denver and become a patient. On your second visit, you'll receive a free acrylic massager. But she's got some tension here in the lower back, and I'm going to work on the muscles of the lower back. How does that feel? It feels really good. And I'm going to work on her hips in particular, on yeah. the muscles there, because she's very active. It's very smooth, and it, um, it's good pressure, and it really feels like it's getting in a lot of different areas of the muscle. Um, so it's really helping alleviate that. So it's also just, it's nice, therapeutic. When we go out of alignment, when we're out of balance, the muscles get tight, the body wants to heal itself. And one of the things it does, if it's out of balance, the first thing that happens is the muscles contract mm -hmm. and then there's some inflammation. Mm -hmm. With that inflammation, there's swelling and discomfort and that's what brings them to my center. And I'm a doctor of chiropractic and we do an advanced technique. I do traditional techniques as well, but we use a handheld instrument. This is called the impulse device. And I'm going to ask her about her sacroiliac joints because when we start forward running, leaping, moving, we use the pelvic area. When we get going, is this or this tender? That's right. And this can go out of alignment. If you look carefully, one side's more pronounced. Her pelvis is torqued. And we're going to take the torque out of her pelvis and start working the joints back in place. So, aligning the sacroiliac joint in her pelvis. And this is right near the center of gravity. The center of gravity is right here. It's forward of my finger, about two and a half inches. And we'll set her right here because if this is right, the rest of the spine will tend to line up properly. And if the spine's in good alignment, the body has a natural tendency to heal itself. Her pelvis came back on the right side. The vertebrae, the lumbar vertebrae are out of alignment here. I'm feeling with my hands and I could feel swelling in the joints that hold the spine together. And I'm gently realigning the vertebrae because this is pulled back. Her lower back is torqued or twisted and the muscles here in the lower back are tight. So I'm going to work the trigger points, the nodules, and the muscles with the instrument. So I can move bones back in place with the instrument and correct posture. And I can work on the muscles too with the instrument. I'm feeling with my hands. And she has trigger points here in her pelvis too because she works very hard. And let them know how that feels because they're wondering, does chiropractic hurt? How does it feel? How would it feel to get adjusted? I really like this advanced tool. Um, I find it to be, it allows me to be very relaxed and re very receptive to the adjustments where not under fully understanding like how much pressure somebody might um, use for traditional methods, um, which I've had before and I've really found them beneficial. I found this to be very targeted. The, there's no, there doesn't hurt at all. It just feels like somebody's like kind of knocking on a door, right? That that level of pressure, and I feel more aligned afterwards. Wonderful, um, and you're very in tune with your body. Obviously, yeah. you're a pro. Extremely. I'm going to line up her pelvis and line up the sacrum too, in particular, and open up the space between the vertebrae. I'm on the sacrum. Yeah, I kind of liken it to like a vertebrae. chisel, right? Somebody like a chisel, chisel All right? right? Good. Like a good that level of care. You don't want to break apart the, the boulder, right, when you use a chisel. Here we go. Sculpting. Interesting. <laughs> All right, like a sculptor. Maybe 
a sculptor getting rid of the interference to bring out yes. the figure inside the stone. Yes. There are self-healing systems within us. And if we get rid of what's interfering with that expression of her life, of her full potential, she'll do better. And I'm feeling here on her neck, and you can see that to the left it moves readily, and to the right it's locked up. I'm going to make an adjustment here at the base of the skull. And it's very gentle, and she's moving much better after the adjustment. So she has movement on both sides. So we can measure the change right here on the table and see change rapidly. And I'm working on her shoulders. I'm working on the muscles here. Go ahead, turn your face out again. No. How did that feel? That felt really good. People are concerned about getting their necks cracked and they mentioned to me that they're reluctant to go to the chiropractor because they're concerned about having their necks cracked. What would you tell somebody like that? That um, they're not really cracking it or, or you know they're, they're professional and so even with this tool I don't feel pain I don't feel like a, a, a large amount of force being applied um, so I can really have the confidence that like I'm not going to be injured because right that really he's helping put my vertebra back into alignment okay. and that's really nice. And most of us have tension in this area of the spine as well and I'm feeling for inflammation I'm feeling for joints that are out of place and where she's locked up where there's limitation where there's inflammation I'm instilling movement and I'm going to do the same here with computer use. You're probably at a computer terminal right now of some kind. Maybe holding a cell phone right now. And that's hard on the spine too. Let's face it, when we're at the computer, our, our heads are forward, our postures like this, and we could develop problems in the mid-back area as well. So I'm working with the instrument to take pressure off the nervous system. I'm aligning the vertebrae or back bones and the ribs and feeling with my hand where the vertebrae are out of alignment or subluxated. Subluxation means bones that are moving too much or not enough that are interfering with the delicate and sensitive nerves that control our life and determine how much of our potential we'll enjoy. What kind of lives we'll have? I'm going to do some advanced tests. Please lift your head, relax, tuck your chin toward your chest, and relax. I want to make sure that everything's lined up properly. Is there anything that you'd like examined in particular today? Nope, you adjust it. All right. I'm going to lift her, and I wanted her to talk more about how she's been feeling lately, what she's noticed as far as changes to her spine and what she's able to do for herself or her clients? Yeah, um, so my biggest thing that I've noticed is that I'm starting to have greater range in my left hip, which is something that we wanted to address. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm noticing that in certain movements that I'm doing, I'm able to go deeper into them. My muscles are relaxing more, so I'm holding less tension. I feel taller, so I feel like I'm able to actually stack my body better. Um, and so I'm not trying to like hold myself or prevent myself from falling over because I'm not in restrictive movements. Could you show them that exercise that we yeah, give absolutely. for the sacroiliac joint? Yeah, so um, it's, it's a nice leg swing. Yeah. Right? To free up the SI joint. Yeah. Free up that side of the pelvis if it's locked up. Yeah. Could you tell the audience more about what you do and how you help clients? Absolutely. So I work with individuals that sit for long periods of time, are individuals that may or may not see themselves as athletic, um, so they, the gym setting is not necessarily for them, but want to be more active in their lives, and so they want to help have help removing any limitations, whether that's from previous injuries, pain, discomfort, teach them how to move their bodies and how to move their bodies well so they build the confidence in themselves to then go say yes to life, to have a more active lifestyle 
where they are moving better. Um, and who would best qualify for your program? What kinds of clients? Do so you individuals that sit for long periods. So okay. office workers are really amazing for that because they're generally in a very flexed position and okay. so they experience a lot of pain and discomfort when they start to move. Um, and seniors. So okay. I actually work with a, with our senior population, helping them wow. build confidence and help them reduce their risk of falling by creating more stability in their body, balance in their body, range of motion. Most of them do have um, postural dysfunction. So like either the major kyphosis, roundedness that, that you talked about, they're often seen in the office worker that we also see in our, our older individuals and helping them build strength when they move laterally, right? standing, sitting, walking. Most of them walk very like flat-footed and so actually building the mobility in their ankles and in their feet and actually working up the chain. So we work from the feet up to the body, up to the head, and then Wonderful. in and out. Um, All right, that's the way. Yeah, improving range How of motion. How would they get a hold of you? Probably. So you can um, seek us out at www.mwenow.org and there's a contact information you can um, sign up for an assessment. If you scroll right. down on the website, you'll get a hold of yeah. Katrina's information. I'll make sure that we have the website and your phone number as well. Yes. Is that okay? Abs absolutely. One of those Wonderful. Information. Share if you care. Like, subscribe. I'll be back with some important information to keep you healthy.